Hello guys, it's Jim for the PA Woodsman's channel. Today we're just going to discuss a few finds I found uh, both online and in the stores recently. Uh, some are deals, some are more or less what you're going to end up paying for them. Uh, we're going to start off from uh, my right to left. And I happened to be in Walmart the other day. You've already seen my Camelback uh, water filter. And if you go to Camelback's website, you can get a cleaning kit which consists of a hanger, a rod to go down through the small, the smallest of the tubes here, and a brush for going inside the bottle itself, and a hanger to hang it up once you're done to dry. You're looking at twenty bucks. Well, get this in frame here. Walmart guys, if you're there, I'm not trying to push Walmart. It's the only store I really have locally in my area, so I got to shop there. If not, I wouldn't actually shop there if I had my choice. But uh, outdoor products brand. I paid six dollars and forty-eight cents. It comes with everything that you're going to find that the Camelback uh, cleaner has, with the exception of one thing, and that's one tablet that they have. It's a cleaning tablet you can drop in there. What I do is I use a cap full of bleach to my Camelback itself for its, for the cleaning solvent. Then I'll rinse it out, and then I'll add it some fluid again, clear water in it again, with a cap full of uh, lemon juice extract. Like you use to make lemonade, homemade lemonade at home, and that gets rid of any of the uh, flavor of the leftover uh, Clorox bleach and keeps it smelling funky. You can also throw these in the uh, freezer. Right now, you see this inside my uh, sleeve. This sleeve you're able to uh, carry alone on the back of your backpack or whatever. It also helps keep the the stuff colder and uh, warmer for freezing in the winter time so that's why you're seeing inside this this is called the uh, has a special name and you think I can remember it oh, here we are. the unibottle it's two liter so but uh, I thought that was a good deal 648 and it'll do the job a little better than what I've done with it already all right, we'll get off the, well, also while I was in Walmart, I started showing this stuff to you when I was out of my last hike, uh, where my fire was not too successful, and, uh, try to get this a little better to frame, I have my string tilted differently, uh, these water bottles, these are stainless steel, if I was looking at a seg or clean canteen, I'm looking anywhere from $15 to 20 some dollars a bottle. These are 24 fluid ounces, uh, stainless steel, nice sealed caps. These are marketed by Outdoor Products, and they're five dollars. So, I threw a Catola sticker I got with my crampons on here. But uh, I also seen them similar in quality at Big Lots yesterday. Uh, only difference was on top here had a carabiner. And they were running for four dollars a piece. So that's another thing you can keep an eye on. They come in the stainless steel. Uh, what else? Blue enamel and a burgundy enamel. So if you like colors, if I was going to be an everyday carry, like taking it to work with me, I would have probably got a color. But out in the field, if I choose for some odd reason, I want to put this on a fire to heat up the water, which you can do with stainless steel opposed to aluminum. Uh, this is going to hold up a little bit better. The enamel stuff's going to probably uh, scratch and dent easy, so. But, uh, all right. All right. I got some fire lighting equipment the other day. Ben's Backwoods. I ordered a, uh, the Army Edition Light My Fire Fair Seam Rod. Wanted to have, uh, a larger one. I have the smaller version. What I'm going to try to do is keep one in my pocket when I'm hiking, one in my backpack. Redundancy. I have one on my everyday carry uh, ca a carabiner I keep in my vehicle. Uh, it's an off-market one, but it's a pretty good large one. It works, so. But uh, pick that up. That's, these are running, I think, like $15 at Ben's Backwoods. This is the uh, Light My Fire uh, Army version Pharisee and Rod. Also, I was at Ben's. I picked up, if you guys ever looked on their site, he has these uh, k m match cases. This is made from uh, brass. They do have them in aluminum, so they're going to be a little lighter. 
On top, you're going to see a uh, Santos uh, compass. Very good compass. That's what I carry. I actually have uh, one on uh, one of these same compasses similar to it on my thermometer that I have on my backpack, and plus my uh, actual compass I use alongside my GPS, and that is a Santo. So these you just more or less pull and twist at the same time. Very deep. I could probably fill it with hurricane matches if I wanted to. I don't know. Uh, has two rubber seals on it, plus he sends you extra seal seals. These are very well machined, real well. Uh, on the outside, you're going to see these little grips. It's good so you don't slip and drop it when it's wet. Uh, comes with a string attached to it. A little bit different format than what I have here. I changed it around. Just keeps the cap from falling away and losing it. Doesn't do you any good then. Talking cap, there's also a rubberized cap. It just more or less protects your uh, compass. And it just pops on there. So, hope I'm getting all this in the frame, guys. All right, and these were uh, twenty dollars at Ben's Backwoods. Not a cheap item, but very well made. Uh, they're actually issuing these to your bush pi uh, bush pilots and your your military pilots as a uh, form of a. Uh, fire starting in a field so oh this works really great for uh striking your strike anywhere matches does a heck of a job so this will be in my pack as well as another uh, source of light in the fire okay last item i picked up try to get this moved a little bit better i was wanting to get a down coat been looking online uh montebell uh western mountaineering Go light, name a few, and you're looking anywhere from $149 and up. I did find this coat, the same brand here of Monte Bell. It's the Alpine Light 800 uh, down. Uh, I could get it for $125 on, at ProLight.com, which wasn't bad. Only thing was in my size, only how they had was a rust. It was a nice looking coat. Uh, free shipping for anything over a hundred bucks, so that was decent. But I went to another place called GearTrade.com. Now this coat's a little over a year old, but it's in mint condition. Guy took very well, good care of it. Uh, he said he did wash it once. Used cotton uh, tennis balls to dry it, which I gotta get some tennis balls to keep on hand. Uh, this is a hundred and sixty-nine dollar coat. I got it for half price. I picked it up for uh, $80. Uh, comes with a stuff stack, passed down real small. I put this thing on when I got it home, when it came in the mail, and as soon as I put it on, I was nice and toasty. So, it's be a nice coat, lightweight coat that I can take with me backpacking, and I'm going to stay warm. So, uh, just got to look. I've gone to eBay and looked at stuff. And I'll tell you what's funny with eBay. And I think you guys have noticed this too if you've been there. Is a lot of times what you see people are either asking for or actually what the highest bid so far at an item is more than what you're actually going to pay retail for the thing if you went to the actual vendor or outside source and bought the thing. I've been looking at a uh, MSR backpacking stove for helping melt in snow in the winter months when I backpack as opposed to bushcrafting. And uh, what, the, like a whisper light, I've seen them, their guys are selling for 80 bucks, bidding on them for $80. I can go buy one for $89, brand new and free shipping, you know. So I'm not really saving much, or they're wanting 100 bucks for the same dang thing. So that's ridiculous. So. That just reminds me, I'll give you a little bit of a heads up. A lot of my videos now, from here on uh, this year, I'll probably do some bushcrafting when I can, but uh, it's going to be a lot of backpacking uh, oriented stuff. Uh, it's tis the season. Today I was planning on going out and uh, doing some hiking. Uh, we've had rain now, nonstop, more or less, for the last two days. It is bad outside. It's sloppy. It's crappy. Uh, I actually had to do a physical rescue yesterday in one of the areas I hang out at, and so I know how bad it is out there right now, so it's it's, it's poopy. So, we're going to avoid going out today, plus this is the first day I've actually felt somewhat decent after I had my wisdom tooth pulled in that in the last two weeks, 
still got a little bit of a sinus headache and my nose is all flawed so I'm going to take advantage of it, sit around the house, get this posted, uh, do some laundry, etc. So, alright guys, I hope you liked today's video. It's nothing fancy. Uh, any questions or comments, feel free to ask and post them. I appreciate you guys as always. And have a great day.